Hey y'all! In this video, I'm going to be talking. You, I'm going to be talking to you about everything we know so far for the Cave and Cliffs update for 2020. Now, don't forget to click subscribe. I think so many of y'all who are watching my, who are viewing me, my channel aren't subscribed. Make sure you subscribe, and I need a thousand subscribers. So, right now I'm playing on Minecraft 20W. 51A, I mean the single player world, and let's get into this video, and let's stop messing around. The Amethyst Geode is one of the cave features that was added in the Caves and Cliffs update. Now, let me go back to Creative. The blocks here are the block of Amethyst and the Budding amethyst. For this budding amethyst, you know it can grow an amethyst crystal on there, but if you're in survival mode, if you want to break this, it, it doesn't give you any, you will not get this if you break it, including if you have, if your pickaxe has silk touch. Now we already see this right over here. This is the amethyst, amethyst cluster. But the, the amethyst clusters, they do grow on this budding amethyst. And by the by the amethyst geode we have the stones we have are the calcite and the tuff right over here in this cave. So and another thing I'm gonna say is that if you have this amethyst cluster, if you will go right here, let me go to the crafting table. And there's also an amethyst shard over here. Let me set this crafting table down right here. Now let me just put this. You don't need six. You need four amethyst shards to have a block of amethyst. And for a block of amethyst, that gives you nothing. And the budding amethyst, that's impossible to get in survival. So let's move on to the next feature. This feature here is copper ore over here. Let me go back to creative mode. I've been searched. It took me some time to search for this. And let me right click on this. This is what the copper ore looks like. And you can use a furnace to smelt this down and you'll get and you will get this over here. This is copper ingots. For this copper ingot, you can craft a copper block. Let me go to a crafting table. Now let me go to the furnace. Let me go to the furnace table. Let me show you how this works. And no, this is. No, let me get, use a blast furnace and let me use a crafting table. Let me set those down down here. And you have this copper, copper ore. And let me just use a flint. I'm gonna just put this here and put this here. Smell this down. Oh, it, it does not accept flint. How about coal? Let's use charcoal instead. The blast furnace it, it smells down it very fast. Now you get this copper ingot. Now you need four copper ingots to. Now you need four copper ingots to craft this copper block. And the copper block, it does oxidize. It will turn. It'll turn green, but I'm not gonna do this inside the cave. I'm gonna see. Well, it's gonna take a long time for it to deoxidize. See, like, this is what the oxidation cycle would, would look like for the copper right here. Just cut copper. You need a which you know, let me search in the decoration blocks, and you will need this stone cut. Can the stone cutter work? No. I will always have this over here. Yo, don't care about what the skin I have. You get cut co co copper if you have, have four copper blocks. So totally, you need sixteen in copper ingots to get this cut copper. With the four copper blocks, you get this cut copper. You get four cut copper here. And this is what the cycle would look like if it's outside. Outside, but 
the atmosphere, it will start from here, then it'll go weather, it'll go lightly weather, then semi weather, then it'll go weather, which is like green, and there's a way how you will stop the weathering. If you use, I think, honey will work. And the copper and amethyst, they're both new ores. Now, let me go with the amethyst. Amethyst shard and you can you can craft a telescope with with those or with copper and amethyst. Let me see how you would do it. No, it, the telescope. No, it's not a telescope. It's a spyglass. So you need two of this and two copper ingots and one. Amethyst shard to get this spyglass over here. And you, another thing you can do with copper is you can have cut copper stairs, cut copper here. You can have wax copper. You need for wax. You need for any type of copper. You need a copper here, and you need a honeycomb here. So for wax, so it will not weather. Now let's move on to the next feature. This other feature here. Let me go down here. The can you have a candle right here. If you want to craft a candle, let me just get a crafting table. What am I looking for? It. You just set this down here, and then you get a candle right here. Let me just see right over from here. But you need to have a honeycomb. That's how you need to get a candle, and then. You can craft a candle by using a string and a honeycomb. Get a candle, and what well, a handle, candle can work. If you set this down here, let me, use a, let me get a flint and steel. Let me light this candle up. See, like, you can see the light here. You can add more candles here, and you can add up to four candles right over here. And you can also put this on a cake and make it look like a like a birthday cake. You can put no, I don't want to eat that cake. Let's put this down and let's put this here and you can only put one candle on this cake. You cannot put more than one on this cake. Now the next feature. This feature here is called a skulk sensor. If you walk on it then it can sense it and it can, it can detect a little bit of light. But they're, they're not obtainable in survival. Eventually they're going to obtain it in survival actually. The warrant it, this sensor it can also take the sen the warden can also sense this right here. You can also give sensor to the warden. Actually the warden is not available. Yeah, it's gonna be in, in the deep dark cave. Where, where you can see the scope sensor. And if you throw an object next to it, let's let's say a snowball. It, it, it detects that sensor. It can it can detect that, that sound, and if you were supposed to be like this right here, if you have two right here, you can both detect it. How about if you have one away right here? Wait. Wait, no, that's the same type. Now let's, how if that's one, other one's farther? No, it can give sensor to this, to this other, their skulk sensor. This is, how, this is a wireless redstone. You can have redstone here. Let me put redstone down here. See, like if you're this, this gold sensor can also detect redstone right here. It can, also, it can also activate redstone, but if you're far away from here, it can. Activate a little bit of redstone. Let me make this farther. See, look, if you put this. Now, this is how a skulk sensor would work. Now, let's move on to the next feature. Now we have the. Snow, let me see. Powder snow bucket right here. If you 
put this down here. Which are, now you can now you can sink inside this powder snow. And you can see this this frostbite sitting right over here. Let me go to survival over here. Game of survival. How are you? You you would lose health if you're in survival mode. Now your now your health bar turns. No no your hearts will turn blue. Now let me go back to creative. And if you are put put leather boots on. See like you don't sink you don't sink inside it. You can walk on you can walk on it if you have leather boots. Actually oh, actually you can powder snow they're obtaining they're already in bedrock edition. They they might come to job edition. When they're in bedrock edition right now, they're on a mountain with mount they're they're featured on the mountain and there's also ghosts. Actually ghosts are not in Java di Java edition. And there's also, also ghost horn found in found in the bedrock edition for the caves and cliffs update feature. And the leather boots can now make you sink inside this no but powder snow right here. This is a dripstone block and this is a pointed dripstone. So let me just now you can you can bone meal this. No, you can't bone meal this. Actually you can make this grow taller here. Actually if you're in now this can point up, this dripstone can point up. Now that you can also point you can also point down. I need to put this down here. But if you're in survival, wait, let me show you something. Right now, if you see this right here, but if you break this right here, then this one drops, falls down here, and now it falls down to the ground. But if you're in survival, if you if you just break that top part and then the other part fall down, then you can lose health. So, but if you're in survival, if you jump, if you're on this here, or if you jump again, then you'll lose health. Actually, those features are in the Dripstone cave right now. So the cave that's up that is that was new is the dripstone cave and the amethyst deal. Now the next feature. This is a lightning rod. If you put this down here, you put a redstone on here. This lightning rod can detect can can activate redstone. But if you break this right here, you're actually a lightning should strike on this in order to get a a lightning rod. You need what you need is you need you do need copper to craft this lightning craft this lightning rod. So let me go to the crafting table. You need three of these copper ingots to get this lightning rod. Now the next feature. This is a bundle. Now you can put stuff inside. You can have it up to 64. You can right click that item by taking it out. Let's put a supply glass inside. Actually, it can fill up the whole inventory here. Let me right click that and let me put this inside. One is inside. Let me put this other one inside. It can you can get up to 64. You can take them out by right clicking them. If you destroy this, then the blocks inside will all come out. That's the same thing as a, as a shulker box and items inside. If you break, it can, they all come out. And let's move on to the next feature. We have this Axel Auto Spawn Egg. You can put this inside the, this ocean. See right here, you can see an Axel Auto right here. It can have right. Different colors, but it can at it does attack fish. And let me put a guardian. Can this attack a guardian? Oh, that's an elder guardian. Do they attack? They don't attack elder guardians. Let me just. Let me just kill this first.
back is Axel Auto. Now that's that's a different color. Now it can change different colors. And let me just put a drown. Can you just attack a draw? Axolotl's attack with draw. Well, they're not. Well, actually. They're not able to attack those type of, type of hostile creatures with yeah. axolotls. But you can you can feed them with a tropical fish. You can feed them with a tropical fish. And, oh, it's attacking! Wait, it, this axolotl now killed this brown over here. Now this axolotl here is my friend. It's my friend here, my buddy. Isn't he? Isn't this? Isn't he cute? Can they breed? Can they breed? I want to show the breed. Please breed. Wait, they're not able to. They're not able to breed until the next. And until until the newer updates come out, then they can breed and they can form a they can have a baby. Are they breeding? Wait, no, they're not breeding. And, no, that's all it f for the axolotl off those, and that's all it for the, the new features there are. Now, let's move on to the changes. The feature for the Cave Up Cliffs update that have been changed for this 2020 are now we can go to see the cauldron, we can put, put lava in this cauldron. But if a uh, choker, no, if a. Uh, let me just see the name right here. No, if a Strider stands on this bar. Uh, here, it can. It, it, they don't get affected with the cold with lavas in the cauldron. Another change is that now you can waterlog rails. Now, it's, now we have the rails here. Now you can waterlog them. You can put it down. See, look, this is how it works. And now for the skulk sensor, I forgot. I forgot it. for the showcase is you can have a wall, but you if you throw a wall right here, if you stand on, if you walk on this wall block, the, the skulk sensor cannot detect it. But if you throw this, you, you just, if you throw this, it does not detect that. So another thing is like the clocks and compasses, it they're changed. Now the texture changed. The compass changed already, and as for a spyglass, if you look inside here, it this can they just try to make it look be like real life, and they just Minecraft they did already designed the glass what, what the glass looks like, and you can see so far, and you don't need a, a and so you don't need Optify for this over here. But if you want to see, see in the full view, without all those black spots, heat black parts here, then you need, then you need opti Optifine. Optifine will be useful for this. The upcoming features f that are coming in 2021 will be the archaeological excavation, mesh caves, lush caves, and a Larger, a larger cave. Those are for the biomes, the new biome. There's going to, for the new mobs, there's going to, there will be goats and a warden, but actually, and, and a retextured squid that will be in the 
in the larger cave, and it can give off light, light inside. But the <clears throat> but there's some type of Ill, illager, which which is uh, let me just let me just search. Let me just search it up on the Minecraft wiki. It's a. It's, not, it's that, that's from Minecraft Dungeon. The Illusioner might might be in Ray soon. It's going to be the Isolager. I for that's going to. From the mob boat, there was a Moo Boom, Isolager, and a Glow Squid. The Glow Squid won, but the first for the first poll, the Moo Boom won. The second poll, the Glow Squid won. Actually, the Isolager lost. Actually, the Isolager should be in the, in the game. Actually, those mobs that don't do anything, they're actually boring. Like aggressive mobs, they're not. They're not that boring to to have over here. I mean, another. Th and don't don't forget to read this article for Minecraft Caves and Cliffs update here. Don't forget to read the this, read this article over here. It talks to you a lot of everything about the Cave and Cliffs so far for 2020. Yeah. And to wrap to wrap things off, we know that the Cave and Cliffs update is going to come will be it in the mid though of twenty twenty one the summer in the, it's going to be in the summer of twenty twenty one. It just it starts with twenty w forty five a. Those are everything. Those are all the the blocks they have, and there's the items, and there's also the chain, the plan, the plan additions. They are over here. And that's all about it. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to click subscribe, like this video, turn on post not notifications, and comment down below if I'm missing anything. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at jamesdong9778. I hope y'all learn a lot from this video, oh, and I'll see you guys ne next time. Peace out.